Oh, yeah, JB talked about... Okay, have you guys seen this? Am I going to go here now, am I, quickly? Right, this bloody grounding thing. Has anyone seen this post? Do I need to find it? The post is by Race Day Quads, and it goes on to say, a major drawback of the Cadex Vista system is the body of unit is grounded. Okay, yes, and a piece of electronics being grounded. Yes, not particularly unusual. In an ideal world, this is not a necessary problem. However, in the real world, it's an accident waiting to happen. Why is it an accident waiting to happen? Alongside the required M2 mounting hardware, the Vista Impulse also includes a D uh, cut mire insulator, custom machine, cone rivets. So they're saying they include all this crap. Now, what they're saying is that it's a major drawback of the Vista because it's grounded. Right. Let's have a look at this, shall we? So the first thing we want to do is look at the Vista and see if it's grounded. So what will be grounded is the USB-C port, which is always going to be grounded. Yes, it's grounded all over. Okay, not particularly unusual. If we have a look at it compared to the negative terminal, which is this one here. Yes, it's grounded. Nothing particularly unusual there. Let's take a look at something else, shall we? Right. We have here a flight controller. Right. So this flight controller stacks is not, but the ESC is. Okay, so the ESC has so the ESC has copper, but that is insulated. It's definitely negative. Yeah. So the ESC is insulated on that one, okay? So that's fine. Let's check something else, shall we? Let's check out this brand new. Let's check out a biggie. So, again, this ESC is not grounded virus posts either. So, the ESCs, they are separating their posts and shells from grounding. So, your ESC and flight controller, for most of these, are, are, are insulated. But the Vista isn't. The Vista... It's there. Let me just grab one other thing. Right. Let me just check which of these is which. We have two HD0 VTXs. Actually, let me put some stuff away before I get myself in a mess. Let's have a look at a couple of HD0, shall we? So, the HD0 VTX. So, now I need to find negative. So, HD0 VTX, okay? Race V2. Should we come in a bit further so you guys can see? Boom. Race V2. Negative. Ground. So we go to the antenna parts. Yes, it's grounded. If we then go to the posts, which you do usually insulate. Yeah, grounded as well. So HD0, that would potentially ground out when you um, used it on a frame if you did directly. You can isolate them like on this one here. Let's just do the same on this one. Saturation is exactly the same. So it is no different on HD0 than it is on DJI. There is a ground path from the posts to the frame if you did it with bulk. Now, this document says there is a big downside. The very simple reality here is if you were to mount the Vista directly to the frame, you're going to ground the frame. That isn't a bad thing as long as there's no live wire touching the frame. There should never at any point be a live wire touching the frame. If there is, it's a fault. Now, there is an argument to be said if in the event there was a fault and the frame had touched live, if it wasn't earthed, it's not going to go on fire. But the frame is still live. That doesn't mean it's good. That doesn't mean it's fine. There is no more risk to the frame being grounded than there is to the frame not being grounded. The risk of an issue is just as high either way. The issue is not the frame being grounded. The issue is the red or your positive wire breaking three, 
it is as likely to touch the frame as it is anything else. Now, I know people say when the red wire breaks and rubs against the frame, but what if it breaks and touches the negative? There is as much of a fault here as ever. So it is frankly nonsense to say the Vista isn't as good because it's earthed. The real only problem here is that in the event of a failure, you're going to short against the frame instead of shorting against anything else. The problem is the broken wire, not the frame being earthed. What's frustrated me about it is everyone's going, oh my God, I've mounted my Vista. Don't do anything. There is a completely separate argument to be had of the effect of a frame being grounded on RF performance. That is something completely different and a different argument to be had altogether um because there will be an effect of the frame being grounded on the rf performance of the antenna depending on where it is because you're adding a ground plane but is that better or worse it's hard to know and as bruce said earlier i think was it bruce many of my analog systems sma mounted on the carbon frame exactly and you'd actually get a benefit wouldn't you bruce um it doesn't matter it's as it's like saying oh my god i chopped my arm off because i used the wrong chainsaw the problem wasn't using the wrong chainsaw the problem was putting it near your arm and that's that's the thing that's the reality it makes no difference because here's another argument someone posted this one this one made me laugh but what if the red wire rubs through and touches the frame what if the red and the black wire rub through and touch the frame? You know, it's um, it's 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 all what ifs. But but what if? But what if? What if the balance wire lead breaks and shorts two of the cells? Yeah, exactly. There's always something that can go wrong. There are so many what ifs in drones. We've got better things to be concerned about than the flame being grounded. And if it's an issue, mount it in T. If you if you're concerned about it, mount it in TPU. But you got you know you got as many issues. Okay, there are arguments to be had. So what is the effect of a grounded frame with an Express LRS receiver inside? Because you're somewhat creating a Faraday cage. Yes, there are RF implications to a frame being grounded. But what those implications are, I'm not exactly sure. And we need a lot more modeling um, on evidence to know it. You know, here's a really interesting one. There is long-standing evidence that using carbon fiber props will affect the RF performance of your drone. This has been proven time and time again. There was a post on the HD0 forum recently of a gentleman having really bad performance on his new one watt. And it turns out it was a result of his carbon fiber props. Now, I never thought to ask. I've known about this for years, especially on small drones, because it's been well seen on DJI models. People swapping out their Mavic Pros, their Mavic Minis from DJI's plastic props to carbon fiber ones, and they get horrible performance from the RF. And it is simply as a result of there being four spinning carbon fiber props so close to the antennas on the aircraft. Now, we don't fully understand what the cause of that is. And it's something I want to try and make a video on, actually, with the Spectrum Analyzer. Bruce, it's one I'd love to talk to you about because uh, I'd love your thoughts on it, having the years of experience you've got. Um there, there is question marks. Are spinning carbon fiber creating RF? I don't know. Um, there is an effect, though. Without doubt, it's unquestionable the effect is there, but we don't fully understand it. Now, it doesn't really affect larger aircraft because the props are out, but it tends to be smaller FPV and smaller drones. Massive RF level fluctuations introduced in an AM modulation to the waveform. What I'm thinking of doing, Bruce, and I don't want your thoughts on this, is is setting up a, a transmitter behind a prop spinning vertically and changing it for plastic and carbon and looking at it on the spectrum analyzer through the prop and seeing what the performance looks like and see if I can see anything. Um, 
I was trying to see if I could demonstrate the effect of plastic to carbon. I just need to see if I got any decent carbon fiber props I can use. Yeah, there's definitely an effect, and it's renowned, and it's it's too commonly seen to not exist on drones. Um, so is there an effect of having a grounded frame? Potentially. But is it good or bad? Who knows? Who knows? We don't understand for sure.